It's the fourth day of our little German adventure, and we are ready to do some more work on our field. Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to Pure Farming 18 here on our little German adventure. See, I made sure I got well clear of what I thought was another van coming to kill me. It's actually a street cleaner. Just uh, running through our farm, sweeping that little bit of dirt there. Uh, let's jump into our little mini McCormick. So you can see that our field has started growing. Uh, this happened at midnight. To get some lights on so you can see a little bit better. Uh, you, yeah, you can see uh, we do have the first stage of growth on our field. If I get close enough, you can see it's irrigated uh, to 93% thanks to the worker. Uh, it still needs to be fertilized and it still needs to be sprayed as well. So uh, we're going to be looking at getting a fertilizer piece of equipment today. And on top of that, we also have a few other bits and bobs to do. We want to check in on the lambs, see if any of them have actually become sheep yet. From the look of it, they still look to be lambs. But I also want to see what effect that, that fodder has had, if any. Again, we're kind of having to figure it out as we go with the sheep. Because there's no instructions. So let's take a look. Uh, prepared fodder's down to 59%. So it has gone down a little bit. We had 60-something percent. Uh, they are now sheep, look. Nope, they're still lambs. They're still lambs. So how long do they stay as lambs? We're on day four. How long do these actually become proper sheep, I wonder? And are we still missing something? That's that's the other question as well. Uh, okay, well, we'll leave those for now. Still, as I say, trying to figure that out as we go. Let's take a quick trip over to the... Ooh, excuse me, to the rabbits. And let's take a look at our rabbits. Let's just zoom in a bit. There we go. So there they all are, sort of bouncing around still. Uh, now, we've waited an extra day. We're going to sell some of these today. Uh, so we need to go into our tablet for this. And... Is it shop? Yes, selling animals. Rabbits. Yeah, they're still selling at 40. So, let's sell Okay, so if you want to sell individual numbers you have to be really kind of precise If you press too quickly it bulk sells, it goes from 1 to 10 So we want to sell 10 today And let's see if we get a different price tomorrow for the remaining rabbits. So we've got 15 left. Um, we've still got plenty of time. We don't have to worry about them dying tomorrow. But that's fine. But I do want to see if we can get a slightly better price tomorrow, perhaps. Maybe they still need a little bit more time to reach completely full maturity. So what do we need to do today? Well, we need to buy a fertilizer. So let's take a quick look at the vehicle store. Go to cultivation. Uh, what do we want to look at? So there's this, which is a fertilizer here. That's quite a big one. Uh, this looks to be a smaller one here. Basic spreader will prove useful in any field. Can use with a tractor light. I wonder if we can use that with this. Let's give it a try. Let's buy one of these. Choose a shed. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to have it delivered to the shed because that'll cost us uh, an extra 20% to actually buy it. So that's quite pricey. So instead, we'll actually make our way over there and deliver that. Is that a little power box on the back there? I think it is. That's a little power box connection. That's kind of cool. Oops. Still thing, this, <laughs> it still makes me think of a little ride on lawnmower. It's so dinky. It was like a an ATV as well with those wheels so close together and then just that long nose that sticks out the front some lights on uh, so we're going to call in and we're actually going to transport this back to the store just so that we don't pay that extra 20% commission for delivery charges which is quite expensive 
Let's uh, speak to uh, Mr. Grumpy Bugger. He's just <laughs> arms crossed, miserable scowl on his face. He's never happy to see anybody. We want to give. Don't care. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. We've bought one of those. Uh, hopefully, I can actually connect it up to uh, to this McCormick here. Really would like to have slightly more to do with this tractor. This may still be a little bit too big. I guess we'll find out in a second. Oh no, we can look. We can actually connect. That's excellent. So we need to go and get some... Uh, product in the back of this so we can then start fertilizing our field that van is still stuck there look I'm not quite sure what's happened there's another van behind it now we're getting a little traffic jab <laughs> so yeah something has happened to that black van I don't know what it is that's the black van that tried to kill us on day one as soon as we arrived in Germany uh, and ever since then I haven't seen it so maybe it's broken down uh, from the impact of, of hitting into us at full speed I kind of hope so, but it's causing a problem now because <laughs> it's just broken down in the middle of the road. Nothing's happening uh, with that van, and it's now got a second van behind it that can't do anything either. So that van has glitched out for some reason. But hey, at least we don't have to look both ways now when we're uh, when we're crossing, you know, stepping out of the house to get onto our own land. You know, at least we don't have to check both directions to look for imminent death. So, uh, there is the fertiliser storage area, that big turquoisey tank. There we go, you can see it all filled up quite nicely there. Let's make our way onto our field, and we're going to fertilise this ourselves today rather than getting a worker to do it for us, although we could do. I get the feeling that could be a little problematic. I just detached that, didn't I? Yes, I did. There we go. So, what's the working width on this thing like? Let's find out. Oh, not very big at all. And I can't actually tell where. I, oh no, you can just tell. It's a little bit too dark still for us to get a completely clear picture. But you can just see a difference there on the field. We're not seeing a difference on the texture of the field on the mini map, but you can see that the f the uh, fertilization bar is going up. We do just have that little darker area behind us where you can see that we have applied the fertilizer. And there you can see it a little bit more clearly with the headlights. So without the ability to actually see on the minimap exactly what we're doing it does make this a little bit trickier in low light conditions you know it is a cloudy day today well, we're getting a, a bit of a frame rate issue there as well I have noticed that the frame rates do tend to drop a little bit when you have lights running but uh, when you can't really see what you're doing you do kind of need any little bit of help you can get there we go really is tricky to actually see anything here and we're not being as efficient with this as we probably could be but again it's hard to see the exact kind of working width of this
and the minimap is actually not providing us any useful information for the first time actually this is the first time it's not been very helpful you can see our canola crop is starting to grow in it's on its first growth stage not sure how long it'll take I think it'll take three days for this to actually be ready so we started planting this yesterday so in another couple of days this should in theory be ready to harvest in theory there we go still pretty cloudy so I still can't really get a lot of great light on the field and this tractor doesn't have rear lights which doesn't help I mean the, the other McCormick would be better suited in terms of giving us a, a light response but I want to be able to do some jobs with this tractor as well I don't want it to be literally just a glorified fertilizer carrier which is all it is really at the moment just a greenhouse tractor. I'd like it to do a little bit more on the farm. There we go. What's our fill level looking like at the moment? Down to 960 pounds. That's something I'm still trying to get used to as well, is the fact that we're doing it in weight and not volume. So used to it being litres, etc. With, uh, with farming sim, this is all done in pounds, it's done in weight rather than in, uh, in terms of volume. Something a little different saying it's good or bad it's just it's different it's something that takes a little getting used to you can see those little light spots there they're bits where our worker didn't quite completely irrigate the field uh, I don't think that's going to have an effect on our ability to put down fertilizer but you know it's something to, to think about you know we'll see what our fertilizer percentage looks like at the end of this the end of this field once we've finished you know sort of spreading I'm trying to stay in a straight line as well again because we can't really see the field with this overhead camera because it's cloudy you know it doesn't really look too bad like this it only really changes the light source on the overhead shots So that's something that could perhaps be a little bit improved is the actual sky textures because they don't really seem to change that much it's just the lighting you know when you're looking overhead that tends to change with the different weather conditions Go up to 57%. It does look as though we're not quite getting the whole field. Oh, there's a little thin strip there we missed. We're not going to have perfect irrigation, or sorry, perfect fertilization on this. We didn't certainly didn't get perfect irrigation because the worker did it instead of us. But it doesn't need to be a hundred percent perfect. It's just when you have a percentage bar like that and you have the option to get to 100% and you don't it does kind of you know just it it rankles a little bit it's just like ah it should be 100% you know you see that the fertilizer level in the back of our spreader has dropped as we've been uh, working away I'm going to use the crop as my uh, straight line guide there. That seems to be pretty straight. I'm 
I mean, the animation looks okay. That's not too bad at all. So that's three quarters of the field done. Not much left to do now. Just another few passes. What, three more passes, maybe? You see that the beacon again has turned itself on again and it just looks like it's a solid light. Very rare it ever actually gives the impression that it is actually a beacon. There we go, so two more passes to go. We're at, uh, well, maybe not even two. Well, yeah, it's going to be two. I can't do all that in one. Uh, we're up to 86% there, so this pass and then a tidy up pass on the end of the field, and then we're done. And what I'll do is, I think I'll wait till tomorrow for it to grow another stage, and then we'll apply the spray. I don't really want to fertilise and spray on the same day. I don't know if that's going to have any kind of negative effect, but I doubt it. Okay, so final pass. And there we go. This is the last bit of the field that we need to do. We're at ninety-six percent, so we actually might get almost. We'll probably get ninety-nine percent. I'm guessing. <coughs> we have had those kind of little bits that we missed, just tiny little patches. So yeah, ninety-nine percent is what I'm expecting as our final total to be. There we go, all done. So, uh, we can put this away. We almost emptied it. You can see there's just a little bit left in the bottom there. We've got 396 pounds of material left in the back of our sprayer, spreader. What is this here? I think I checked this out. Oh, it's the cow barn, isn't it? And then that must be there. That must be the cow food there. And we know that's the uh, milk silo. Just going to nip through here so I can clean this thing off before we put it away. Oops, nope, wrong button. And that noise I kept hearing, I think it's actually this. I think it's the pressure washer station. And there we go, just not quite the right angle, which is why it wasn't cleaning. Now it is. Excellent stuff. So let's go put this away in the shed.
drop that just there. That seems tiny in here next to all this other equipment. I don't know, I can hear something. Some noise. I'm not entirely sure what's causing it. Does sound like something's still switched on, doesn't it? Somebody did mention an audio bug actually while I was in Italy. Asked me if I'd come across the audio bug where it sounds like something's still switched on. See, now we're over here, I don't hear it. If I move back over this way, I do hear it again. Not entirely sure what's causing it. How's our greenhouse doing? Um, why have we got no growth? Oh, no, wait, we have product already. Look at that, wow. Uh, okay, so we're going to need to top this up. We have peppers. So I've just put the Mini McCormick away. We need to kind of get that back and uh, and go top things up again. Yeah, I think the noise is coming from that CD, you know. Where is the Mini McCormick? Oh, there it is. My Mini Mac. So let's uh, poodle our way through here to the shed, to the trailer next to the side of the shed. We hit a bump there. You see that front wheels lifted way up in the air. A little bit of uh, freestyle off-roading there. Let's go get some more fertilizer. So we've got 30%. That means we need another seven bags. At least we don't have a long way to go this time, like we did when we were in Italy. Uh. There we go. Seven bags of fertilizer. And there you can see the uh, sprinklers coming on again. That's kind of cool. There we go. So fertilizer's actually gone down a bit more. You can see we're actually getting a bit more growth now as well. Water level's okay for now. We'll top that up in a moment. But I want to uh, get these peppers and put them into storage. Now... I know if we leave them out here like this, they will eventually spoil. I don't think they spoil if we uh, put them into storage. I think they stay okay for a while, but we'll double check that. So let's go into the encyclopedia. We want to go to greenhouses. Uh, no. I don't think it's this step by step because this is just, yeah. Showing you the different things you can use to actually transport things. Now, when you're in my first farm, you actually get emails through constantly. It's just like a never ending stream of emails, uh, all designed to teach you how to do certain things. And it just mentions something in there about uh, how to do greenhouses, but it doesn't actually give you economic efficiency at the moment is, is low. <laughs> That's not so good. We should probably upgrade it. Um, but it does tell you something about you know crops will only last a few days before they spoil. Uh, I'm not sure if that applies to stuff that's in storage. Now we do have a, uh, a fruit storage shed somewhere around here. If I can remember where it is. See if I can find it, and if I can't, then obviously we'll have to uh, go searching for it. I think this might be it. No, that's the egg warehouse. Maybe it's the other opposite side. Maybe that only does fruits and doesn't do peppers. Oh no, we can put peppers in here, look. So, uh... Wow, 1% of pepper storage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely need to kind of... Uh, improve the efficiency of our greenhouse I think so let's whiz our way back around here again 
Let's upgrade the, the greenhouse. We've just about got enough cash to do it, actually. There we go. Upgraded. So we now have a much bigger greenhouse. So that means we need a lot more product. So we're at 45%. That's nine bags. Uh, so we're going to need... 11 more bags to fill this thing up by the look of it I've come the wrong way whiz around the back here, there we go I don't know how many bags I can fit in this but I'm assuming 11 will be fine we could only get 9, oh I've got no money I can't buy any more bags <laughs> whoops didn't even consider that Insufficient funds. Yep. I see that message popping up now. I got one extra bag. Okay, well if that gets us to 50%, it gets us to 50%. There we go. Okay, so uh, let's switch to the other McCormick. Let's get some water. Now, the water is free, so we don't have to worry about not having funds. Which is good, because we have a mighty $7 to our name right now. There's those beacons on again. We've got an almost full trailer already, which is good. So we'll go transfer this in. We'll probably still have to go and refill this trailer anyway. We can at least get most of the water in there. That'll be a good start. What are we up to? 61%. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, we're going to need to uh, raise some funds. We just don't have that much cash. $7 is not going to get us very far at all. We certainly can't even afford to fill up the sprayer at the moment to spray our equipment or to spray our field. So maybe we need to go and sell the rest of the rabbits. Uh, I'd rather not sell those until tomorrow if I can get away with it. I want to see if we can get a better price tomorrow. Let's drop that there. Again, there's that noise from, I think, the cedar. Which is quite disconcerting. Uh, so instead, what we'll do is we just put some peppers into storage. Let's uh, let's take them back out of storage and go and sell them. See how much money we can make for them. It won't be much, but you know, at this stage, every little counts. So <laughs> when we have no money, the slightest little bit of income really, really is going to help us. We should probably start thinking about investing in uh, some kind of renewable energy as well. Seeing insufficient funds again, is that uh, is it trying to take money off us? I mean, we could always go with a loan, but uh, I think I'd rather avoid doing that. I'm pretty sure we already have a loan. Uh, yeah, peppers. Why is it not letting me fill them? It did a second ago, now it won't. Very odd. Am I in the wrong place? Why can I not pull my peppers out of storage? It gave me the option to do that a second ago, and then it's now taken that option away. Ah, come on. Let's try coming in from a different angle again. There we go, peppers. Ah, so it's just the, the prompt box is really kind of fiddly. Okay, that's not so bad. Right, so where can we go and sell these? Uh, let's have a look. Purchasing centers. Food market. Right round the corner. Okay, that's not too far. Oh no, it is. It's it's all the way round there. Um, all right, let's make our way over. Try and get some speed up. There we go. Engage cruise control. It's starting to get a little dark again. Let's get some lights on.
see this is what I was saying yeah we've got this these anything that's in the kind of like the middle section of this uh, this surrounding road it's it's you've got to go all the way to the far edge and then go all the way back up to the top again it's a long way to travel for just one small thing it would be nice if there was a another crossing a bit further up I think so you had like a triangle of crossing areas you know uh, one at each corner and then one in the middle kind of thing but we'll make do it's not the end of the world if we have to take a little drive so this is the area, so let's pull in around here. Is this the drop off point just here? It is. And there we go, we made... Ooh, 2,300, that's a little more than I thought we were going to make if I'm completely honest. I didn't think we'd make quite that much for just a small amount of peppers. But that's not bad. So now that we've upgraded our greenhouse and we can actually generate a much higher yield, we should hopefully start to make some decent kind of money from our greenhouse. Uh, I need to just get rid of that little... There we go. So let's make our way back. Again, I'm trying to turn on... Actually, this thing doesn't have window wipers, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, again, look, you can see something just horribly, horribly wrong with this van. <laughs> we'll weave our way through the pair of them. Get the beacon on, why not? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> it's just so bad. I know I keep going on about it, but I've never seen such disappointing beacons. I mean, look at it, it's just bleh. it's horrible. But I do really love this little mini McCormick, this mini Mac. I suppose I should probably learn what type of McCormick it is. I'm well, just calling it the Mini Mac. I'm trying to read on the side and I can't. Uh, this will tell us, I think. Oh, it's, it won't tell us because we're in it. Um, never mind. What I can do now is I can actually buy some more fertilizer. So uh, let's buy another 10 bags of fertilizer there we go try and get our greenhouse fully stocked so uh, we're 5% short that's fine okay uh, and we are going to need to top up the water level again so, yeah, let's switch to our other McCormick, our Big Mac, if you will. What is the Mini Mac? It's the 4600, okay. So that's what it is. I, I prefer Mini Mac. And we'll take our Big Mac over to the water point. Get that trailer refilled, bring it back, top up the greenhouse. And uh, I think that might be it for today once we've got the greenhouse kind of fully stocked. We'll do our uh, spraying tomorrow on our uh, canola field. We'll look at selling off some more rabbits and then reinvesting and getting some more in the cage. We can also actually look at perhaps buying an extra cage or two, really kind of expand the number of rabbits that we have to process every day. I don't want to get in the habit of uh, trying to do you know, one cage of rabbits per day because then that's going to get a little bit clunky and I'll forget which cage I need to sell and they'll get out of sequence and yeah we'll just do all rabbits and then uh, at once kind of thing rather than trying to stagger them day by day so let's get a load of water in the back I do appreciate that all water is free because we own the water towers some speed up there we go I 
it's not a bad little area this little Germany map we haven't really spent a huge amount of time here uh, we've only what, been here for four days but we haven't done a lot but we have kind of played about with our one field and it's a shame there's only one field I would have liked to have seen two maybe three fields that we could have worked uh, it does feel a little disappointing that we only have that one piece of land but this I get the feeling that is, is all about doing the animals themselves uh, and you know, we will get into cows but uh, for now we're, we're still kind of figuring out and exploring our way around raising sheep and we haven't seen much progress on that yet so hopefully that will become a lot easier to figure out as we go and we'll actually start making some money off our sheep All right let's transfer the contents there we go so we have a full water tank spin back around uh, almost a full fertilizer level I could go back and get one more bag but I'm just not that fussed <laughs> it doesn't need to be perfect you know they're growing they're at 30% growth already so uh, tomorrow we should have a nice big growth spurt and get some more peppers maybe and that'll be a bit of extra cash and I say tomorrow we need to break out that sprayer and uh, figure out exactly what we're going to do with our field so let's lower that and detach it excellent there we go we may as well preemptively connect up to this you see that connection there again has kind of messed itself up a little nudge to try and uh, shake it around a bit yeah that loose connection is fiddly and awkward and uh, it's it's bugging me but there we go so uh, lights off see all the lights just came on in our shed because it hit nine o'clock so we do have auto lighting which is kind of cool I kind of really want to reset this to see if that stops it from making that noise but uh, we have got seeds still in there and that obviously I'm guessing is going to empty up the seed so let's make sure I'm not going to get killed as I try and get to the house no okay well that's it for this episode then we'll skip forward to the next morning and then as I say tomorrow we'll be spraying our field maybe selling some more rabbits having another go with the sheep seeing if they've improved at all and we'll see where our crop growth is after that as well so thanks for watching I'm Jim Bob and I'll see you back with some more German action here on Pure Farming 18 on the PS4 very soon <laughs>